In the previous video, Mark Table Data Extraction, I showed you how Process Runner's data extraction technology could be utilized to download data from the Mark Table to an Excel spreadsheet. Now I'm going to show you how we can actually schedule that data extraction file to run at any time that we would like. I'm going to click on the Scheduler tab here. Once I do this, I just simply click on New Schedule. And from this drop down here, I can then select when I want the process file to execute. Before I do this, I need to create a logon shortcut so that the process file will execute automatically. I'm going to go to this icon here, Logon Shortcuts. Then I'm going to select the Logon Shortcut tab, then Create. Now I'm going to select my destination. I simply choose the SAP system that I want the shortcut for. I'm going to put in a client number my SAP username and I'll also provide the password and then I'm going to do a test just to make sure that I'm properly connected to the SAP server everything looks okay here I'm going to click save once I do this I can now save it to the hard drive or my network now this is an encrypted file so I don't have to worry about it being accessed I'm just going to call it shortcut And I'll save that. And now that I'm done with that shortcut, I'm going to select it here from the drop down. Now I'm going to schedule this uh, just once, but you can see I can schedule it daily, weekly, or monthly. And I also have on log on or when idle. And I'm going to select a time so that you'll be able to actually see this work. So I'm going to select uh, 201 here. And I'm going to save this. And now I'm actually going to turn Process Runner off. So I'm going to completely exit out of Process Runner. So as long as my computer is on, Process Runner is able to turn itself on, execute the file, and then after executing the file, it will shut itself off. So we'll see that here in just a few seconds. I would also like to make you aware that you can not only schedule data extraction, but you can also schedule any of our other technologies process files as well. So you can schedule the GUI scripting, the BAPI, as well as the transaction process files. And so also if you have process files that are joined together, such as a data extraction with a transaction file, you'll set the schedule one time and then both process files will run. Or if you have even more than one joint process file, such as 10 or 12 process files that are joined together. Those will all run as well, just by setting that scheduler one time. And there we go, process runner is now turning itself on. And very shortly, you're going to actually see it execute that data extraction file. So this is a data extraction from the mark table. I've used plant 1000 as a filter. And if you see down here, this kind of gives you a status of that. And now we have that call to, X to SAP being started. Right after the log on there. So there we see that the, it is finished. So now Process Runner is actually going to turn itself off. All right, so now let's open up Process Runner and let's take a look at that data that was just pulled down from SAP. Now this is set 
to an internal instance of Excel. So my Excel is actually embedded in the script file. And so that's why I'm actually clicking on the script file here. And I'm going to go to the iBook or internal Excel book, as we call it. And there you can see that my data download was successful. And there you can see the, the information on that. It ran today and at such and such a time. Now I have set this to run to the internal instance of Excel, but you could also, just by going to this home tab here, clicking this button here, I can then actually set this process file to download the data to an external Excel spreadsheet on my hard drive or in my network. Thank you for watching this video on how to use Process Runner's scheduler feature.